If you've been wondering how you can make channel points, control OBS, then this is the video for you. I will walk you through how to use channel points to redeem effects just like you're seeing right now with this anime zoom, or even uh, if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, uh, fan, I'll show you how to do something like that. I'm fascinated with tech and my goal on this channel is to make your content and your streams look and sound as professional as they can simply. So uh, if you're interested in that, please click subscribe to the channel. I've been streaming on Twitch for just over eight, eight months now. And uh, when I got affiliate, I was freaking stoked. It was pretty exciting. Um, but just like you, I'm sure there's so much you have to figure out like loyalty badges, sub uh, emotes, and my favorite channel points. I did do a video on like 15 plus channel point ideas. I'm gonna link to that at the end and that you don't need any programs or anything. These are just free ideas that I wanted to throw out. But this I wanted to get into with more of like an advanced tutorial and something that is just exciting as a, from a viewer standpoint. And also at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a little bonus tip and how you can use this method for an infinite amount of channel interaction ideas. But anyways, uh, let's get into it. Okay, so here's a little disclaimer. So. The method I'm showing you is really used only for Twitch streamers. However, you can use the same idea for Twitch chat or YouTube chat and have Twitch chat and YouTube chat control your OBS. So if that's something you're interested in learning, uh, leave a comment below and I'd be happy to update and do a new video for that. You'll need to download and install Touch Portal as well as OBS WebSocket. And then uh, inside Touch Portal, you'll need to link your Twitch account and your OBS. Okay, so in Twitch, you need to go to your uh, creator dashboard and then go down to view rewards, hit channel points, and then click manage rewards and challenges. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add a new custom uh, reward, give it a name. Uh, the one I'm gonna show is uh, Homer Hides. And what I like to do is make these actually pretty affordable. So just one of 100 uh, channel points. I'm just gonna go ahead and do default. You can upload your own images later and stuff like that, but honestly, that's it. What you need to do is remember this name and exactly how it's spelled. There it is, Homer Hides, okay? Okay, so one big uh, secret I wanna really show you, it's, I'm, I'm gonna do another video in the future of it, but it's called scene nesting. So what I want you to do is create a new scene and I call it, where is it? I'm lost, ZZ Triggers, okay? So in the scene ZZ Triggers, I'm in studio mode, so it's not transitioning my scenes. So in scene ZZ Trigger, this is where I put all of my channel points redemption. So I've got my anime zoom, I've got applause me, I've got toasty, I had a holiday one of Santa coming in, and then of course the infamous uh, off and dance. Um, so what I want you to do is create a scene called ZZ Triggers, or whatever you wanna call it, but I call it Triggers just so I know. We're gonna add new media source and we're going to name it homer hides the same as the channel point boom what i want to do i always click loop hit browse so you're going to go to where you have it saved and you don't ever want to move this file location because then you're going to have to re-update that file location so i've got one i'm working on where it's shia labeouf just doing his do it you know but i'm going to show you homer hides and what you want to do is click uh, restart playback when source becomes active, use hardware decoding when available, and then show nothing when playback ends. So we're only doing loop uh, just real quick, just so we can uh, set its location. Boom. And what the hell happened? Okay, so I'm a doofus, and what I'm gonna do is actually transition over to the ZZ triggers, and you're gonna see how I'm gonna reposition this thing. I like them in the bottom left of my screen, just so as I'm streaming, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of real estate. So here we go, we've got it playing. So what I did is in Homer Hides, I added some filters, I added chroma key and I was playing with these sliders. I decreased uh, my similarity in, uh, and decreased my smooth, I think I increased the smoothness. And then I brought the color key spill reduction to 232. And what that does is I slid that up and it kind of made it more black and white. So after chroma key, I added this filter color correction and brought it up to saturation to 0.82 to get his like skin color back to yellow. And then I'm going to go back into properties. I'm going to unloop it. hit okay. And make sure it's on hide. And then from there, we're going to go into touch portal. Now we're in touch portal. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on a new blank button and that brought this pop-up screen and I'm going to name it 
Homer hides. I like to use color, uncheck transparent so you could see the color. Let's do like a Homer yellow, a Homer white. Bam, text color is black. So now we are going to go ahead and create on event. Boom, and we are gonna go into Twitch on channel point redeemed. We click this and we have to type it in here. So when someone redeems channel point Homer hides, this starts the actions. Then we're gonna go into OBS. And actually, you know what I wanna do? It's a, I want a logic and timer. I like to add in seconds, a three second timer. So that way when someone clicks this event, it takes three seconds for it to chime in on my stream. So that way when they click the event and they're in their chat, it gives them some time to close that little redemption thing and watch your channel so they could see their redemption happen. Then we are going to go down to OBS and set source visibility. So it's toggle for scene, ZZ triggers, source file, Homer hides. So what's this gonna do is since it's already off, it's gonna toggle it on. And then we're gonna wait again I'm gonna go ahead and put logic wait. And you wanna wait for as long as your video file is. So some of them are a minute, some of them aren't. So you might have to change your amount of seconds for how long you want this to be active. But I like to wait about, you know, 12 seconds. I know this thing is, is shorter than that. All right, then you wait. Then you go back down into OBS, set scene visible. We're gonna hit toggle. We're gonna hide, since we toggled it on, we're gonna hide that source for ZZ triggers, Homer hides. So what's happening is someone's gonna trigger my event, this program's gonna wait for three seconds, and then it's gonna toggle Homer hides on, wait 12 seconds, and then it's gonna turn it off to hide. And save, that's freaking it. So now what we're gonna do is go into my stream chat, since it's on there, we're gonna transition, bam. And I am going to go ahead and redeem Homer Hides. If I just clicked redeem, it's probably gonna take three seconds. There he is. That is it. All right, so now for the bonus tip. Using the same method, you can now use OB, I mean, you clearly know how to use OBS. So now what you can do is find videos on YouTube with green screens, that's where I found all these. I found the anime zoom, I found Homer, I found everything. And I edited them. And you could even record yourself with a green screen and do something silly, like I have one where I pop up and applause myself, you know, like it's like, yeah, good job. So on YouTube, you're searching green screen memes or whatever you want and you find something. In OBS, you record that uh, video file and it saves to your computer. Then using another free software, DaVinci Resolve, uh, which is a, a video editing software, which is free and it's great to use, I highly recommend it. And then in 15 minutes, you save 15% or less. Right? <laughs>